In today's video, we're going to talk about meat. We're offering an easy switch, an ability to continue eating meat without compromising on health, sustainability or taste. We are trying to convince more and more people to eat less meat. actually additive manufacturing where you build the product layer by layer that enables us to control the fiber structure to trap fat and moisture within the fibers and to create a food product that is man-made which is the closest thing to the biological meat that we're used to eat. This is the blood and the perfume that actually are carriers of flavors and scents that go inside our final products. And actually we also have here flavors and uh, additional elements that give it that really unique flavor that we get from animalic, uh, let's say, flavor carrier. Yeah. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week. I'm Chris, this is Space Foods. In this episode, I want to start talking about meat. So there's kind of two new industries that are already here and they're growing over the next decade. One is plant-based meat, one is cell cultured meat. So I want to really, in the first part of kind of the series of videos that I've been doing, I've been focusing on looking at the cell cultured industry. And I've been looking at mostly companies that are not meat companies. And now I really want to look at meat. And so I think both plant-based meats and cell culture meats are the future of meat, future of meat technology. And so there's two things that I want to do over the next however long I end up doing these videos for. One is I'm going to go to Singapore to taste Eat Just's good meat. Um, they're currently selling it at Huber's Butchery, and they're selling their chicken products. I want to go taste that. I don't know when it's going to be legalized in the United States, so I'm going to go to Singapore to try that out at some point in the next number of months. And the other thing I want to do is I want to try and make my own plant-based meat. And what that means is I've been looking at 3D printers now, 3D food printers, and I've started looking into ingredients as well that you can use to make plant-based meat. So I'm just gonna try doing some of that and see what happens. So that's kind of my goal for the next however many videos I end up doing on this meat section. I also wanna look into some of the technology on how to make cultivated meat because there's some super cool things going on there. That will then tie in with me looking at the agronomics valuation model probably let's say in summer sometime then after that i mean i did start this channel and i did call it space foods for a reason because i also think a lot of the technology can be used in space and so i do want to get into that but that's probably going to be later this year before i get there because i really want to look into this meat technology yeah there's just lots of things i want to do with this channel but now i want to start focusing on a few more videos about meat the two companies videos you just saw there is juicy marbles they're a slovenian company and so currently they ship throughout the eu and the united states so i do want to try that then you have redefined meat out of israel 
and they're shipping in select countries in Europe. Those companies are starting. There's a few other companies around. Of course, you have in the United States, Beyond Meat, Impossible Foods. Um, those were kind of the two first ones. But you have a bunch of cool plant-based companies that are making good food. There's also things like plant-based salmon, which is a thing. So there's lots of cool plant-based meat companies that are popping up now. And then you have, of course, the cell-cultured meat companies. Um, I'm investing in those because I think longer term, we're going to have both. And I think the technology is really cool. There's just a lot of really cool companies in the space, and I want to explore them a bit more on this channel. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been following along, supporting this channel, sending comments. It's been fun. And also, one guy's supporting me on Patreon, so I really appreciate it. If you watch this, thank you so much. All of your support helps because it allows me to continue to do this and allows me to pay for things like a 3D printer that I want to buy. So I hope I can continue to be helpful and make good content for you. That's I'm just trying to explore the space and trying to share my learning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.